What's going on everybody? Nelson Chan from Hoop Life. Today we got a super, super, super duper anticipated sneaker review on the new Adidas Dame 4s. There has been word that the Dame 4s might be one of the best performance sneakers this year. I know what y'all be thinking. That's a very bold statement. When I first saw leaked images of the shoe, I'm like, damn, Dame shoes get uglier year by year. But it wasn't until I actually saw Dame Dollar rock these on foot I'm like, yo, no, man, you, you tripping, man. Indeed, I was tripping after seeing Dame Dollar rock these on foot. I'm like, yo, these shoes are sick, man. And especially with the new colorways coming out, I've seen some that are super duper fire. My favorite colorway has got to be that murdered black, all black colorway with the little hints of red accents. I don't know if it's gonna be a player exclusive only for Dame because there is an all black colorway coming out. Some other clean colorways have got to be the white gum and then the red bottoms. Those are pretty nice too. Before we get into the review, there are some very cool detailings on the shoe that represents hidden meanings for Dame Dollar. Okay, first off, you notice these random numbers alongside of the upper of the shoe. These numbers actually mean something. On the top, you have 35-12. These are the stats that Lillard put up in his final AAU game. Prior to that game, Lillard didn't have any scholarship offers, but because of his performance from that game, it really helped him put him on the map for college coaches. 26-5-4, this was Lillard's stat line in his senior year at Weber State, where he led the nation in scoring. The red number six represents Lillard being selected with the number six pick in the 2012 NBA Draft. 0.9 represents a time on the clock back in 2014 when Lillard hits the game winner against the Houston Rockets in the playoffs. Y'all remember that shot? Series. It's Lillard, he got the shot off! Yeah. Oh You know what time it is, Dame time, baby. Dame said that was one of his best moments in his basketball career. The zero represents a 0% chance that everyone gave him to make the NBA playoffs in the 2015-2016 season after the four other starters from the previous year had left at that time. It's also his jersey number, which represents the letter O and signifies his hometown of Oakland to his college town of Ogden, Utah, all the way to his professional team in Oregon. 
Then there's the musical waveform in the bounce cushioning that meets the outsole, representing Dame Dollar's passion for music and hip hop. In the heel, you see the letters YKWTII, which represents you know what time it is. Yo man, that's a super dope detailing on the shoe. Let them know what time it is, Dane. And lastly, inside of the shoe, the insole shows the motto, patience, persistence, and purpose. And if all that doesn't get you hyped up, maybe the specifics of the performance might. For traction, the Dane 4 has a rubber outsole with a tread pattern inspired by the passage of time. The traction on these shoes takes a really, really, really long time to break in but after it's broken in you know it's pretty solid it's uh not as good as the twos and the threes but you know it still gets the job done but like i said it takes a really really long time i don't know why to break in and for the shoe to really grip onto the floor because you know in the very beginning it kind of just like it's just kind of just there i mean it doesn't really like skirt 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 like you ain't gonna get none of that in the beginning i'm telling you that right now but uh, like I said, you know, the more you do these, you know, to break them in, you really, you know, uh, open up that traction pattern. Eventually, you get them squeaks in. But like I said, it takes a while. Moving on to the materials, the Dame Four has a ventilated textile mesh upper for lightweight comfort and breathability. It also has a neoprene collar that provides good comfort and fit. I like the materials on the Dame Four. They feel really nice, soft, and comfy. The mesh feels really flexible and strong at the same time so you know you get a good combination and with the neoprene and nylon around the rest of the shoe you really get a nice and comfy soft feeling around your foot not a lot about the materials i've got to say you know to get the job done nothing much being said but imagine though if the dame four comes out with a prime knit upper oh my god it's gonna cause wreckage ruckus ruckus I don't even know, man. But you already know, it's going to cause problems, man. I'm going to tell you that. Moving on to the support and lockdown, the Dame 4 has a booty construction for a snug and secure fit, along with lace cables reinforcing lockdown. The booty construction feels nice, although I would always still prefer, you know, a separate tongue type of setup, you know, rather than a one-piece booty. I feel like you get the most support and lockdown, you know, with that type of setup. But uh, let's talk about the lace cables. For me, I don't know if I'm the one who only has this issue, but the lacing is not good. Like, I had a hard time pulling on the strings to really, you know, tying up the shoe. You don't get any smooth transitioning. You know, every time, you know, you be pulling on the laces. I don't know, this happened with, um, I think it was the Hardens that had this issue. Last year's Dame 3 also had this issue, especially with that panel thing going around there. You know, that wasn't good. Now, thank goodness they took that off on a Dame 4. I don't know if it's because of these rubber pieces around the cables, but like I said, you know, I had a hard time pulling on the laces. I had to pull the laces one by one to, you know, really secure my foot and tighten up the shoe. I don't know what it is. I don't know what Adidas did to make the lacing so difficult to tie, but it definitely hinders my performance in terms of the support and lockdown. At times, my foot does move, you know, up and down or side to side uh, based on heavy, hard plants or, you know, stops. But when I was able to get a good tie on the shoes, the support and lockdown on these are pretty solid. For cushioning, the Dame 4 has full length bounce cushioning that provides enhanced comfort and flexibility. Really, really good responsiveness in the cushioning, unlike last year's Dame 3 model. I would say it's very similar to the Dame 2's, but it's a little bit more low to the ground, which gives you better court feel. Man, do I love the cushioning on these. Y'all see me booming in these? That's bounce right there. And I'm not talking about my jumping ability. I'm talking about that's bounce right there, man. The cushioning setup on these has the perfect combination of comfort, core feel, responsiveness, and impact protection. And I'd prefer to choose bounce cushioning over the boost cushioning for my Adidas hoop shoes because, you know, it just caters to my play style more. In terms of comfort and size fit, the Dame 4, I'd recommend y'all to go a half size down. I'm normally a 10 and a half, but I went with a size 10 in these. Uh, I don't know what it is with Adidas, man. Adidas got their sizing all mixed up all the time. On a lot of Adidas hoop shoes, I would normally go a half size down, especially with the Dame sneaker line. All Dame shoes that I had before, I always went a half size down. I would say, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but, you know, Adidas, you got to get your sizing charts correctly. But I went with the 10 in these. Uh, I had no issues. It's not too small. It's not too tight. Like I said, it just fits like a 10 and a half. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend y'all to go a half size down in these. But definitely... Go try it out in stores, you know, just to make sure or else, you know, I'll be coming back to me. Nelson, Nelly, you lied to me. As far as pricing, the Dame 4 retails for $115. Again, Dame Dollar, 
doing it for the people with an affordable price tag. This is a really good performance hoop shoe, especially for that $115 price tag. You're definitely getting a really good performance hoop shoe for that price. And for my overall rating, drum roll please, I'm going to give the Dame 4 a 9 out of 10 score. The Dame 4 is coming back strong after a disappointing Dame 3 last year. The Dame 4s could make a run for one of the best performance hoop shoes this year. Just a little few things here and there that kind of prevented it from being the best out of the best. Like I said, the lacing system could have been better, you know, to help with the support and lockdown. Uh, the traction uh, is not the best, you know, but it, you know, it's solid enough. I just wish it didn't take that long for it to break in. But the pros about the shoe has definitely got to go with the cushioning, man. You get the best combination for core feel, comfort, responsiveness, impact protection, man. It has the best balance for all of those. It just feels really nice, real good. The materials also feel real nice. It's flexible and yet durable with the black yarn stitched in between the mesh. And overall, it's just a really comfortable shoe and the best part about it, it only retails for $115. It's a really affordable price for a great performance hoop shoe. It's gonna be another big year for Dame, man. You know, Dame Dollar has gotta be one of the most underrated players in the league, especially with the West getting even more competitive, you know, with all the new additions to the West. Definitely, with Dame Dollar rocking the new Dame Force, I've got to say he's going to have another spectacular year. And you already know he's going to show out because you know what time it is. It's Dame time. Thank you guys for watching that sneaker review on the new Adidas Dame 4. Man, I've got to say the Dame 4 has got to be one of the best hoop shoes that I've got this year. It's definitely in my rotation right now. As you can see how bouncy I get in them kicks. Anyways, let me know down in the comments below. One, do you guys have the Dame 4s? Do you guys like them? Do you guys dislike them? How well did it perform for you guys? And two, what other sneakers would you guys like me to review next? Make sure to check out these other two sneaker reviews up here. And once again, if you guys are new to the channel, I am Nelson Chan from Hoop and Ivy. If you guys like the content you guys see, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out my social medias in the description box down below. And until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.